from Guaranteed Rate Field on the south side of Chicago. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Cleveland Guardians going up against the Chicago White Sox. Along with my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chavi. Anthony Santander penciled into the lineup and Singy they beat the clock to acquire him just before the deadline in the nick of time Boog and now it's two months of pressure for him big at bats down the stretch though could turn a late pickup into a local legend and he'll have plenty of chances to make an impact a new guy like this in a lineup can really bring some extra juice to that offense Luis Robert Matty now Cole, the center fielder Luis that to right Santander drifts towards it puts the squeeze on it and that ends the inning so only one hit in the inning the solo homer and it puts him ahead we head to the second on the south side it's the White Sox one and the Guardians nothing. Anthony Santander at the play. Three hits last night, so he was a big factor in getting that win. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Carl Dixon working the plate in this one. You know, we often hear and talk about umpires being a pitcher's umpire, but Boog Dixon, maybe a little bit more hitter friendly than most. He's kind of tight on the corners, so we'll see if that comes into play at all in this one. Swing and a drive. Left field. This one's got a chance. And that one is out of here. Anthony Santander knocks one out. Home run number 20 on the year. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-1. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting a ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees, and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. And now, Anthony Santander. He's one for one with a two-run homer his first time up. Swing and a pop-up. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. Now batting. Designated hitter. Josh Bell. Two out spaces loaded. Here's Aloy Jimenez. One for two with a solo home run hitter. back in the first inning. hit right field one runs in another comes in to score and it's 4-2 well he was a little off balance he got the front foot down but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball big one there as he drives in a couple of runs two outs bases full and now the right fielder Gavin Sheets who's over two with a pair of strikeouts Benintendi at third. Jimenez over at second. Robert on at first with two down. Lifted in the air, right field. Santander drifts towards it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. So they get three runs in the inning, but they also leave the bases loaded. We're through five. White Sox four. And the Guardians two. Here on the south side, all set for the start of the inning. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. 
Now batting, designated hitter, Josh. Josh Bell at the plate now. He's 0 for 1. Bell in his eighth season, 30 years old now, and he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Right-hander kicks, deals, and another ball. One finds the zone and a count two and one. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. That one in for a strike, two and two. And now the count filled up three and two. Ahmed Rosario on deck for the Guardians. Nobody out. Runner at first. And he walked him. Pitch count's getting up there now. And not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. And the pitch. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And they're happy to play station to station right here. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Down in the count, battling to stay alive, and just a nice job to put it in play. That line drive isn't going to light up StatCast or anything like that, but it gets the job done. And he just kind of caught it on a weird spot of the bat, but he didn't get cheated with the swing, that's for sure. Santander, the runner at third. Bell on second. Rosario on at first with nobody out. On the ground, out to short. Sneaks through, base hit. One runs in. Safe! Two outs, runner on first. And now it's going to be Anthony Santander. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Santander measures six feet, two inches, 235 pounds, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. And fouled off. Look out, that ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. So a great inning there as they bat around to score six times to open up the lead. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. Guardians eight and the White Sox four. Back here at the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. Karen check back to work. High in the air, out to right. Santander makes the catch, and there's one gone. Up next for the White Sox, the catcher. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Sebi Zavala. Now the 0-1. In the air, right field, Santander drifts towards it. He's there, he's got it. Two away now. Now batting, third baseman, Yoan. 
Anthony Santander, the next to hit. He's already homered in this game. There's a swing and a drive. That one's back. And gone. He sends it out of here. His second home run of the game. It's 11-5. And with the six-run lead, there are fans that are starting to head to the exits. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Back to the top no of the White Sox lineup. Here's Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. So impressive that he was able to... Well, Siggy, a productive day at the plate for him in his debut after they traded for him. Indeed, and it's so huge to have a game like this right after being traded. It just makes it so much easier to settle in and your teammates get connected with you a little bit faster and just hopefully have a bunch more games like this one. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 